Hey guys, my name is Doug with infotainment.com. Today we're in the 2015 Ford F-150. I want to show you guys today what your options are regarding the My Ford Touch Sync 2 system. This particular truck is equipped with the My Ford Touch Sync 2 system. What we're going to show you guys today is how easy it is to go from this system to the Sync 3 system. Okay, now what's great about Sync 3 is uh, it has a dynamic touchscreen, um, it has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, 100% factory, and 100% Ford. So here at infotainment.com, what we do is we pre-program these to your VIN so you will not lose any features. It's a 100% seamless upgrade. Uh, basically, what you have to do is you just have to replace the screen with the attached uh, APIM in the back or sync module. Then you have to replace your uh, USB media hub, which is located down here. It's going to fit, plug and play. And then we're going to install a GPS antenna. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this speaker grill here. Some of you may not have this. It may just be a pad. Uh, but there's two seven million, seven millimeter screws that are back here. So you can use a pry tool or a regular screwdriver, uh, whatever you have. This just pops right out. It just held in three retaining clips. So you just set that aside. Then you're going to want to get after these two seven millimeter screws. All right, now that those two screws are removed, we're going to pop out this top trim here. So you can use your pry tool or you can just muscle it out. You don't have to disconnect it completely. I like to just kind of fold it off to the side here. What we're after here is the two seven millimeter screws that hold your bezel in place. Once you remove those two screws, this bezel just pops right out, held in with retaining clips. So come in from behind here and disconnect the connectors. So there's a little tab on the side here, a little tiny one here that comes out then just unplug the two connectors this one here you press the tab in slide the lever over you can set this aside I know what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the three seven mil seven millimeter screws that are on each side so a total of six from your existing my Ford touch screen Now we're just going to disconnect the two connectors that are in your existing Sync 2 or My 4 Touch module. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and install the GPS antenna. Now you can really put this anywhere under your dash top. I like to put it right here on this little metal brace. It's got a magnetic base on it so it sticks right on there. Um, and it's right below the tray here just under the windshield so it seems to work pretty well right there um, and this will plug into the the back of the new sync 3 system all right the next thing we're going to do is we're going to replace the media hub okay now this hub here is not compatible with apple carplay and android auto so we have to replace it okay so um, this particular truck does not have the center console uh, so basically what we do after we have to get behind it press the tabs in there's tabs on each side Press those tabs in and slide it out from behind. Um, if you have the center console, you'll notice the kind of plate right here that goes back and forth. It'll be located there. But basically, just get from behind it, press the two tabs in, and slide it out. All right, now to get to those tabs, you can use a pry tool and kind of work it from behind and then get it out from up front. I found it's just as easy to take out four more screws to remove your ACM which gives you a lot more room behind it to play around. So I'll go ahead and pull this out. You don't even have to disconnect the connectors. You can just now easily get from behind, push those two tabs in, and then push it out. Okay? All right, now in the back of your existing media hub, just disconnect the USB and plug it in here disconnect the power wire and plug it into our adapter then it slides right back into place all right we went ahead and put our media hub in 
I went ahead and slid back the ACM. Now all we have to do is plug in the new SYNC 3 system. So we're going to put the, um, the, the main connector in like that. We're going to plug our newly run GPS antenna into the port up here and then just plug in our USB cable. You also noticed I used Torx screws to, re and to take the brackets off the old system and put it on this one. The brackets line up perfectly. So take them off your existing 8 inch screen and go ahead and use the exact same screws and brackets to put it on the SYNC 3. So then we just slide it into place. It lines up perfectly and we can reinstall the, th the three 7 millimeter screws on each side. Alright, now that all of our screws are in, we can go ahead and plug in the two lower connectors and the two upper connectors. Alright, pops right in over the SYNC 3 screen. Go ahead and put our two screws in here. And then our two screws into that top plate. Alright guys, now that everything's buttoned up and in its place, let's go ahead and start the vehicle and check it out. Right away you see the Ford splash screen, the animated Ford splash screen looks really nice and professional. And voila, here's the SYNC 3 system. So within the home screen here, you can actually reorganize it the way you want, but the way it comes from the factory is the map, those of you who have navigation, the, nat the map will show up here, your entertainment will be here, and your phone will be here. Okay, so it looks like it pinpointed our location immediately. Uh, sometimes you need to drive the vehicle around for a, a time or two uh, for a few minutes and then it'll, it'll pull your, through the GPS satellites, pull your position. As I mentioned, this particular one has the embedded navigation. They do have ones without navigation, but still have CarPlay and Android Auto and all these other features. So again, a home screen, um, map here, entertainment, and phone there. Audio soft key down here. Uh, it'll pull up the radio station first, but you do have the selection of AM, FM, Sirius satellite radio for those of you who have that currently. If you want to add Sirius XM satellite radio, come see us at Infotainment. We have that upgrade available for factory Ford Sirius satellite radio. You notice it has the station art, stuff like that. Just a really cool system here for Sirius Satellite Radio. Back to sources, you also have CD uh, and Bluetooth stereo. The CD player icon here will be visible from 17 to 18. 2019, they did away with the CD player. We do have a kit coming out to allow you to add CD player if you want, 19 and up. Uh, otherwise, we also have here Bluetooth stereo. Once you pair your phone, you could do Bluetooth streaming audio. All right, so this is all through the entertainment sources. I did want to point out to those of you who want to add uh, HD radio, we do have kits for that as well. So you get crystal clear radio stations. So we're going to go back to home here. Phone, simply click this. Search for your vehicle on your device and select it once it is found. You'll be able to search for sync on uh, your phone, and then you can pair it that way. Very easy to do. Uh, now, this particular one, as I mentioned, has nav. So right here, you pinpoint our location. It's really cool. This particular screen has pinch to zoom, which is really neat. Uh, in the menu here, you can change different things. Where are you? Navigation settings. Do you want to avoid toll? Stuff like that. That can all be done through the menu or the settings, which I'll get to shortly. Uh, zoom in and out. It has 2D and 3D maps. Just a really cool system here. Destination, set your home or work. So as soon as you get in the vehicle, you just hit home or work and it takes you right where you need to go. You don't have anything clanky on your windshield. You're not holding your phone the whole time. This is 100% factory Ford GPS navigation. Uh, I'll give you a quick demo. Go to previous. Select a previous, hit start. 
obey traffic laws, be alert, and use voice commands while driving. So Please I, proceed to the highlighted route, and then the route guidance will start. As you can see, the guidance comes through the speaker, so it's a nice factory upgrade there. So we're going to go back to the home screen, uh, go to apps. Those of you who opt for Sirius XM Travel Link, that is something that is an additional subscription through Sirius Satellite Radio. It gives you traffic um, updates, movie listings, sports scores, weather, so on and so forth. Um, again, a, an additional subscription through Sirius Satellite Radio. Uh, in the settings menu, again, all sorts of stuff here you can kind of come in and play with. But just a really, really awesome, very clean uh, system here with the Ford Sync 3. All right, one of the greatest things about the Sync 3 system is the, av the availability of, of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So simply plug your lightning cable into the USB hub and then plug the other end into your iPhone and you'll have Apple CarPlay in your vehicle. Such an awesome upgrade. Um, make and receive phone calls uh, right through the phone soft key. This is through Apple Music. Those of you who have a subscription to that. Apple Maps takes where you want to go just like it does on your iPhone. Search for a destination. Go to a previous. Um, Tap this and just hit go, and it'll literally take you where you need to go. Messages, what a great safety feature. As you're driving, the system will actually read your text messages to you. You hit the prompt, it reads it to you, and allows you to respond. Meanwhile, you have your hands on the steering wheel the whole time. Now playing just shows you the existing music you're actually listening to on your phone. The Ford icon here brings you back to the, the main Sync 3 screen. Podcast, those of you who like podcasts, come check out the Infotainment Talk Radio. Uh, it's a little plug for us here at infotainment.com. Audiobooks, I mean, there's all these different apps. If you go to Apple's um, uh, CarPlay website, it tells you all the different apps that you can download on your phone and have reflected onto the Sync 3 screen. Just really cool. At back, Google Maps. Um, this is really, really neat. It gives you the visuals um, right there through there. Uh, again, there's a text message coming in. I can click in it and it'll read it to me. Uh, Pandora, Spotify, SiriusXM. If you have that on your phone, you can listen to it that way. Waze, another crowd favorite. Um, just a really, really cool system here, guys, with the Sync 3. Apple CarPlay feature. All right, guys, similar to Apple CarPlay, it is also Android Auto compatible. So plug in your factory lightning cable, plug it into the bottom of your Android device. You'll follow some on-screen prompts initially, just hit accept to everything, and now you'll have Android Auto in your vehicle. Really cool. So this is your main home screen. Get to the recent uh, things that you've done on your phone. Over here on the left is your navigation through Google Maps. Just go where you need to go. Search for a destination. Go to where you need to go. Um, here on the phone, obviously, you can make and receive phone calls. This brings you back to the home screen. This allows you to listen to your music, whether it's Pandora or whatever else you desire. And then... The end button here returns you to the main sync screen. All right, guys, that's just a quick little demo of how the Sync 3 system works. We do this upgrade and so much more here at infotainment.com. We use all Ford factory parts, 100% pre-programmed for a plug-and-play installation. Besides something like this, we also do factory headlights and taillights with LED strips in them. Uh, we do backup cameras. Um, so you get the backup camera image right here on your display. We do other cameras such as front camera and even sometimes side cameras. Um, leather seating, we partnered with Catskin. We have a great relationship with them for factory style leather kits for your Ford vehicle. Um, that all comes exactly fit and we have installation videos that show you how to do it yourself if you want to. 
Um, you'll notice in this board here, we have a digital speedometer cluster. Now this is an XLT F-150, which came with the small cluster. This is the Lariat cluster. So it's really, really cool. Nice big digital screen. Uh, other things, if your Ford has the auto start stop feature, every time you get to a stoplight or stop sign, it turns off. We can disable that, infotainment.com. Um, satellite radio, as I mentioned, maybe you just want to add satellite radio or HD radio. We have plug and play factory kits for that, uh, as well as so much more. So come check us out, guys, infotainment.com. Thanks for watching.